Hi everybody. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do, how to make this custom navigation bar up here. Not this table view. Um, just this um custom navigation bar instead of this uh default one with the blue and the gray. All right. So I let me just show you what we're working with. We have these. Okay. So this first file. Um, this file is, uh, 320 by 44, and the second one is 640 by 88. This is for retina devices, um, this one with the at 2x, um, now these files should be pretty similar, I mean, you don't have to, but, uh, you should, it's like a best practice. Alright, now let's open this, uh, here, um, let me just make this... So it's in presentation mode, so everything's bigger. Um, so I just set up a really simple uh, utility for the iPhone. You can see it here. So we're going to go into this main view controller, or whatever like your main window is, where you're going to have your tab bar, or your navigation bar, sorry. Um, let's see, where is this? Navigation bar. Just pull that out, and UI, navigation bar. So we have that, and there's one here um, too, which is going to be nice, so I can show you. Um, now you can see we have these big colors here. Now I'm just going to hit uh, Add Files, and uh, Navbar, take these two, and add these. Okay, now that we have these two files right here, we... Our, after this view did load, we are going to create a UI image. We're going to name this image um, Navigation Bar Background. And we're going to make it equal to a UI image, image named. And this is whatever you named your image, and the image is named. UI navigation bar dot pin or PNG. Now we're going to say resize a image with cap insert. Oh no, yeah, with cap inserts. UI edge make inserts. And this is just going to be zero, 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 zero. Now go down. And now we're going to do, again, double braces with um, uh, semicolon at the end. And we're going to do UI, navigation bar, appearance, set, background, image. And this is going to be the navigation background. And for bar metrics... UI bar metrics default. Alright, now we're going to build this on this iPhone simulator. Simulator. And let's run this. And you see we have this blue UI navigation bar right here. And even when you hit it and you go to this second page, it um, comes to there. Because if we look at this flip side, um, here it's, um, I think it's in here. I don't know where the code is, but at some point it imports, uh, these files. And so, um, this view did load stuff, well, you can use this stuff in, uh, the flip side view controller. Um, now that's pretty much, um, and for the tutorial, um, what you can do is, I'll show you, you can create, um, oh, never mind, sorry. I was going to um, do something, but I'm going to leave that for another tutorial. Um, the next tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this custom, how to customize this bar button item. Because if we go into the simulator and we look at this, you can see that you have this ugly button right here 
and well, let me show you. If you stop this, go to here, and we add a um, R button like here or here. And let's say we make it like uh, add. Normally, I guess you would have that there. Um, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Yeah. All right, and let's say you add another one here that says like. Menu. If we build this, you can see these look really ugly, so you don't really want that. Um, and so, in the next tutorial, I'll help show you how to make one of those for yourself. Um, all the code you can download this whole entire project. I will make it so you can download this in the description. I will post this project on GitHub where you can download all the images and mobile files. Um, I will also have the image sizes in the bottom for the navigation background for this image right here. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you um, comment if you have any questions, uh, subscribe if you're not already, like this video if you liked it. Uh, you can talk to me on Twitter. Um, you can email me, you can find my email, lots of places, it's, uh, I'll put it up on the screen right now, but it's realteddy at gmail.com, and that's it for today, and, yeah, alright, see you next time.